102.7 KISS FM. It's time for Ryan's Roses. Courtney in Huntington Beach has written to us saying, The other day I found a hotel receipt under the flap of the scanner on top of our printer. It's a romantic hotel by the ocean. My husband's name is on it. I've never stayed there. So, Courtney, I will spare you telling me the feeling you got when you saw this, like your gut just dropping. Uh, but is there any, since you sent us this email, have you figured out any potential plausible explanation for this? I mean, no, no. It's a romantic hotel, and I've never been there. I don't know. He said he was, I mean, I went back and I tried to figure out. He said he was going golfing with his brother in Palm Springs that weekend, but I, I just, I'm afraid of asking him. I'm, I'm afraid of him denying it. I'm just... I'm just, I'm not sure. I want to catch him off guard. I just don't know. I don't know what it's about. I just have no what's, idea. What, what, what's the date? When are we talking about? It's dated February of 2020. February 23rd. It's for two nights. Uh, right. So Valentine's Day timing? Yeah, uh, not far off. Right. Well, that I, I mean, that's why I'm even more suspect here. All right. So yeah. it's a romantic hotel by the ocean. It seems weird that he was scanning it, though. That makes me think it's for work or it was for, I don't know. Over a year and a half ago, too. I mean, yeah. I mean, he usually does like a thing with his brother and, and his dad, but like I don't know. That's what he told me he was doing. So right. like I believed him, and I had no reason not to until I found this thing. Courtney, how long have you been married? We've been married seven years. Hold on one second. We are going to make the Ryan's Roses call for you. If you just turned us on, we're about to make the Ryan's Roses call this morning. We got to know Courtney a second ago. So she found a receipt under the flap of the scanner on top of her printer for a romantic hotel by the ocean. Her husband's name is on it. She says, we never stayed there. So what's the explanation? Now, the hotel could be romantic or could not be romantic, depending on the beholder. Mm-hmm. We'll see. This was like a year and a half ago. So, Courtney, I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call in and your husband's name on Kiss FM. Go ahead. Ryan, you have my permission to call on Kiss FM. We're going to do that right now. Be very quiet until we tell him he's on the air. And good luck. Thank you. Hello. Hi, I'm looking for Marco. This is Marco. Who's this? Hi, my name is Favi. I'm calling from HB Blooms. How are you doing this morning? Pretty good. I'm calling because we're offering local residents a promotion today. It's a dozen free red roses that you can send to anybody that you'd like. They are absolutely free. I don't need anything from you, no cash, credit card, or anything like that. We just hope that you refer us to friends and family if you like our arrangements. Is this something that you'd be interested in? Uh, like literally free? Yeah, we can just start with the name of the person you want to send them to, and we can put a note on them, and they'll receive them by lunchtime today. All right. It's kind of weird, but, um, okay. Uh, Great. Send them to my wife mm -hmm. uh, with a note that says, dinner Saturday night with a question mark, and then love Marco. And what's your wife's name? Laura. I need to get on this. Marco, don't hang up, please. Your voice is being broadcast on the radio. I have your wife on the line named Courtney. Courtney, are you his wife or is Laura his wife? I mean, I for the last seven years, I thought I was his wife. Marco, what's your wife's name? Courtney. Hello? What's your wife's name, Marco? Your voice is being broadcast. What's your wife's name? My wife's name is Courtney. What is going you just, on? Sorry, hold on, Marco. Mm. I just heard you say my wife's name is Laura. Who is Laura, and what are you doing having dinner with her Saturday night? Love, Marco. Oh, my God. Wait, I don't... I'm confused as to what's going on right now. What is... What so, is this Marco, about? no one's more confused than Courtney, your wife. Who is I mean, Laura, and why did you say your wife? Just explain it to Courtney right now. 
Okay, <laughs> look, uh, I don't know. I don't understand what's going on here. I don't you know need what to tell me what's going on right now. You need to tell me what's going on right now. There's nothing Who's going Laura? on. There's nothing going on. I don't know what kind of shenanigans are going on, what kind of weirdness you're up to, but... Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I'm not either. It's like going you're going to become something completely different, and this is, like, really, really, like... This is Marco, disgustingly Marco, eye-opening. spare oh us the charades here. You just sent roses to a woman you called your wife that's not your wife. So you're having an affair with Laura. Please tell Courtney what's going on. Okay, look. Courtney, we need to talk, obviously. But I promise you, okay, please listen to me when I say this. There's nothing going on. Okay, I just, I swear. Because you think I'm cheating on you, but I am not. Okay, I swear. Okay, but, but no, 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 no. You just said Laura is a wife. I mean, like seriously. And now, like, there's like this whole other issue that we haven't even. I mean, like, you're having romantic getaways you elsewhere. Just sent and, like, you sent her red roses, Marco. What is going on, bro? Hurry up! Look, we saw the receipt. I, the receipt. Yes, to the hotel about? in Santa Monica or the beach, wherever it was. Hotel. What receipt are you talking about? A hotel. It was on the printer. It was on the scanner on the printer, and the one that we obviously don't use it very often. But there's this thing on your with your name for two nights at a romantic ocean hotel. What in the world? What? What? I don't even. Like, I, I have to sit down. Like I, I can't even. I don't even know what's going on. Like, can you please? Look, I don't know what's going on. Marco, come it, on! Really, you got uh, a lot of people in their cars wondering what is happening with you. You just sent Laura dinner Saturday. Love Marco. Call her your wife. Courtney's on the phone. She's your wife. So just tell her that you are having an affair. People need to get to work. Yeah. Okay, not that it's any of your... I just want to do this on the radio. Okay, babe, I'll be Neither home in 10 she. minutes. Oh, it's done. It's already done on the radio. No, this is happening. Everyone... Yeah. I'll be home in 10 minutes. We could talk about this in person, not on the radio. All right? Oh no! You're, you're this is this is this is this beyond anything I can do with you. No, this is this is too much. There's nothing to talk about, Marco. I don't think you should come home anytime soon. He's hung up. I don't see him on the line. Uh, Courtney, look, there's it, you, I, we can't get more clarity than that. Not much more. That is uh, about as clear as we get to his wife, Laura. Ugh. Dinner Saturday night. Love, Marco. He's obviously having an affair with Laura. You should, do you know who Laura is? I mean, I, I, I'm not. I have no idea. I have no idea even who he is. I have no idea what's going mm-hmm. on. And how could he call her his wife? Like, I just that. What type of relationship is that? How long have they been together? It's, I, I have so many questions too. Okay, here's. I the mean, thing. this is. I'm sorry. This. I'm sorry. Put this. I mean, I. I, I don't know. I'm embarrassed. No, you don't apologize. Don't be embarrassed. We're gonna let you go. Please take that information and do with it what you wish. Thank you very much. But that's very clear to me. Very clear to me. Yeah. And good luck, Courtney. Well, thank you for helping me figure it out. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Can we go back to Ryan's Roses? Does the guy have two wives? Or he just was saying that Laura's his wife to get you off the phone, to get the roses sent? I want to get to it. This Ryan's Roses got me all spiraled. So, Courtney married to Marco. She finds a receipt from a romantic hotel from back in February, a year and a half ago. She's like, I haven't been there. Get Marco on the phone. He literally says to you, Sissini... I'd like to send the roses to my wife, Laura. So, all right, the guy's got two things going on here. My question is, did he just say my wife to make it easier in the phone conversation? It's really just his mistress? Or is he married to Laura, too? That's yeah, what I don't, because I can't. He did say, just send it to my wife, and then he gave me the no, and then I had to say, what's your wife's name? So that's when he did pause for a second. And then said, Laura. Right, but was he, did he know he was guilty, so he called Laura, his wife, to make it sound normal to you, knowing really it's this woman yeah. he's seeing on the side from his I wife, mean, Courtney. I, I, I don't know how you are married to someone for seven years and also married to somebody else at the same time. So I'm sure, maybe. Well, we've had conversations here with people who have pulled that off. Not for seven years, I don't think. But somehow. Yeah. It's so bad. Courtney needs to find out. I mean, if it's you, you're going to find out who Laura is, right? Uh, Yeah. Quinn, how are you doing? I'm well, thanks. How are you guys doing? 
doing well. So you say you cannot be oblivious. What do you mean? Oh, well, I mean, Courtney's obviously having a bad day, but she can't be oblivious that there's other signs if this guy's got a second wife. Like, Mm -hmm. it's not just going to be one receipt and a printer, you know, and a scanner. Like, she needs to start snooping around and see what else is going on. Oh, you're saying where there's smoke, there's fire. Mm. Oh, gosh, completely. No, the right? other thing like, is, did she see more smoke and just turn the other way for a while because she didn't want it to be a reality, and then she sees this thing on the printer and it's like, okay, this is real. I don't know. Yeah, so exactly. you, you don't want to admit it. Yeah, like you're trying to shield yourself from it, but this guy's got to be one heck of a scam artist <laughs> if, he's, if he's pulling this off, and she needs to open her eyes and, and start realizing what's right in front of her. Just when I think marriage is a great idea... Literally this morning, this stuff happens. Marriage is a great idea when you find the right person. Talk to George Clooney yeah. about that. Oh, have you heard what George yeah, Clooney right? had to say about There's that? Some, well, he said, I'm never going to get married. I'm never going to have kids. But then, and then it the comes right a person mall. walks in the room. Have you all heard that? Tanya, you heard that yeah. one? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Coming up in the trending report. Oh, thank you, Quinn. All right. That's coming up in the trending report? It is. Sure is. <laughs> George Clooney thing? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So I think we just did it, though, didn't we? <laughs> I mean, I, I heard him say it somewhere. I saw yeah, it on, on Instagram. He was on a uh, podcast. Okay, that's right. Yeah. Well, good. Let's reiterate what he said and why he said it. And actually, it's a beautiful thing he said. Makes sense.